What's up, Word Nerds? My name's Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Sunday, July 21st. In this video, I'll be playing Wordle Connections, the mini crossword and strands. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin by selecting a random word for me to use in Wordle. I do this every day, uh, choosing from Wordle's answer list. Let's see what word I get today. Diner. Okay, we'll put in diner today. That's a very good, a very solid starting word. All right. What does diner get me today for Wordle? It gets me an E. Okay, so that's all I know. Just an E in there. Probably going to put the E at the end. Um, we could. There's no N, so I can't do a word like clone or anything like that. Uh, well, let's go with slate. Let's go with slate. Okay. Okay, there's an S. Uh, the E is either second or third. Starts with S. Um, I doubt there's going to be two E's, right? S E E probably not right. It's not anything like spend. Uh, I've used the N and the D. Spec actually spec works. That that was just great. I have been doing so good in, in Wordle recently. Like, it, that was just... Like, I guess it's just a matter of, like, eliminating things, right? Like, I can't do the things that I want to do. My first thoughts don't work. Spend was not right. Because uh, I didn't have the letters. Uh, I did not think there was two E's here. It made sense for it to be S something and then E. Uh, and... I thought of like scene first, S C E and E, but I've already put the E last. Uh yeah, there's just not I mean, I guess it could have been a S W word. Let's let's check out Squirtle to see just how lucky I was here. Cause I feel like I just did a great job, but also like it could just be there was a lot of things and I got lucky. So we'll we'll check it out. So the answer was spec. I started with diner. I went with slate next. Okay, 27 words here. Seeps, I wasn't going to put anything that ended in S. So these first three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seems was a good word, but like I never would have put it in. The top word that is not a word that ends in S is spec. Um, CP. Okay, no. Th th there was nothing insane about what I just did. <laughs> there was nothing insane. This was not luck. This was not like, oh my gosh, you're so good. No, no, no. This was just, there was nothing else there. <laughs> I just narrowed it down that much, which is actually kind of insane. Like, how many words start with S? A lot of words, right? Isn't S like the most common starting letter? Maybe it's not for five letter words, but like, I would not think that Diner and Slate narrow it down that much, but it did. Very good starting words today. So, all right. Uh, so the luck there was really just um, the, the, the words I chose. Um, am I on the right scene? Okay, yeah, okay. We can go ahead and switch over to connections now. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Connections, uh, Sunday, July 21st. Let's get started, see what words I have today. What do we have? Makeup, level, tan, stump, log, uh, structure, saw, file. Okay. So we do have things that are tools. A saw, a clamp, a level, a file. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm going to put that in. Yes. Carpentry tools. Okay. Um, I'm a little surprised that's the blue category. So, a log and a stump? Anything go with that? Maybe not. Canvas? Uh, campaign? Would organize go with that? I don't know. Uh, 
structure composition makeup um I'm not sure okay I think that might be one structure makeup composition does canvas go with that I don't know if canvas means that I thought canvas was like a campaign word but maybe not Fabric. Maybe fabric, actually. Composition, makeup, structure, and fabric. Let's try that. Yes. Constitution. Okay. I am... I am a little stumped here. I guess I don't know words for canvas, campaign, organize... I guess I don't know the fourth word for this. Log, does that make sense? Max, stump, tan, mod. We have four words here that are three letters. Do they have anything in common? Uh, I don't think so. I don't see anything. Canvas campaign. Organize. I think I'm just going to guess randomly. <laughs> could do log, could do mod. I don't, I don't know if... I, I don't know. I'm going to do mod. Log? Okay, stump just because it's a it's not a three letter word. <laughs> yeah. I have never heard in my life stump meaning anything related to that. Ways to support a candidate. Okay, so I should have just went with my <laughs> logic, I guess, which was logic starts with the log. Logic, which was uh three letter words. Um so these could be beginnings or they could be endings of words. I don't I don't see anything. I don't get it. Log is a math term, I believe. Tan is like tangent, but I don't think the other ones go with that. Maybe they do. Maybe tan's not tangent. Maybe there's another tan. I don't know. Um, hmm. Max mod. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what these ones are. My first thought was like math terms, but like I have, I don't get it. Could be parts of names. I have no idea. Let's see. Math abbreviations. Max, is max just like maximum? Is that really like a math term specifically? I have no idea. Mod? How, what, what are you abbreviating in math to be mod? Let me look it up. <laughs> Modular arithmetic is the first thing that I see. Math mod. I'll type in abbreviation. I don't. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this. Okay, and then max math abbreviation just means maximum value. Like that. that that's a math term. Okay. Um, then I've seen, what does tan stand for? Does tan stand for tangent in math or is tan something else? Um, I think it is tangent. Well, okay. 
All right. Anyway, that was impossible to get. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. I guess if you're a math, if you if you're, I mean, I think like I don't know. I would never. I don't think I learned whatever mod is in school. I never learned that. So I there was no way for me to get this. Uh, I mean, I guess people that are younger, people that more recently took a math class might do well at this. I, I don't know, but like, I just, that was kind of impossible to me today. So, and then, yeah, I never heard the word stump. Okay. Well, um, all right. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this one. I did not like that last category, but that's just me. So, uh, we can go ahead and move on now. We'll do the mini crossword. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, mini crossword, uh, Sunday, July 21st. Let's get started, see if I can solve it. One across, space between two teeth. Just Is it just a gap? Like, I, I don't know if that's what it is. Uh, rural waterway, which sounds like a haunted house noise. A creek? Is that how you spell it? Creek is... Okay, does the the noise of a creek, is that spelled with an A? It might be. Six across. Wind something. Carried by the wind. Wind. Don't know. Golf lesson topic. Golf lesson topic. Your swing? French word before I made a name, no idea. Anytime I see like French word, I'm just skipping immediately. I don't even, I don't even have to read the rest. I don't know French. <laughs> Fully adult, which sounds like a haunted house, house noise. Uh, groan? Cause a gr a, is a groan like G-R-O-A-N? Is that? Is that a haunted house noise? Okay. A E I lingerie and loungewear brand from American Eagle. Do I have this right? Is swing right? I mean, the W fits, I feel like. I guess it's a brand, so there's no way for me to be able to guess this because I don't know it. If I knew it, then I knew it, but I don't, so. I'm not gonna get it. Slenda, pasta tubes, penne, I guess. Network with an I logo. I guess CBS. I guess I didn't realize they had an I logo. The beer is here. A keg. Wind something carried by the wind. No idea. French word. Oh my gosh. Great. I uh, the brand. I don't know French. I don't know brands. A, I'm going to guess an R, born, airborne, or windborne. No, it's not airborne. It's wind, windborne. Okay. B A, air, I'm going to say E, because it fits. A-E-R-I-E -E sounds like it might be a brand name. Guessing works. Just guessing works. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. I solved it. I do not feel like it was deserved today, but you know what? Because, like, two down and eight across and six across, I did not get them at all. I do not, I mean, windborne, okay, that makes sense. But, like, I never would have got two or eight. So, I just guessed for this last one because it made sense to put an E there. Okay, well, either way, I'm happy to get it. Uh, not my favorite mini today. Not really that satisfying to solve, but you know what? I got it done. Um, they're not all great puzzles. They're not all my favorite. They can't be. But, uh, yeah, let me know how you guys did. Uh, let's go to move on. Let's go ahead and move on to our final game with Strands. I will make sure to switch over to the right scene today so I, my camera's not covering up the, uh, the bottom right corner like it was yesterday. All right, here we go. Strands, Sunday, July 21st. What is the theme today? We have... 
S words, a cutting edge theme. So I wonder if this is, uh, if they're all going to be sword types that start with S or are just, um, maybe not necessarily all swords. It could maybe knives. I, I don't know. Um, first thought was like a samurai sword, but, but I don't know if that's possible to make. So, maybe there, it says S words. So, I feel like it's got to, they've got to all start with S, right? How many S's do we have here? One, two, three, four. No, we don't even, we don't have seven S's. They're not all going to start with S. Okay. I, I almost thought they had the word pirate here, but I don't see it. S words, a cutting edge theme. So why why would they say S words if they're not all going to start with S? Hmm. Maybe the spangram starts with S. Well, Claymore. Okay, I don't know swords. I I'm actually I only saw that because it was it said clay at the top, like straight across, and it was easy to read. I don't really know swords. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll be fine. But I might struggle with this one. I know this isn't gonna be an answer, but this will help me with a, a hint. Um Cheat. Cut. Cutless. Ah, uh, let's see. What else do we got? Blade. Blades. Just blades. Nice. Machete. Okay. All right. So we got three left. Let's see if I can get them. Uh, rape, rapier. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I've seen it in video games, though. Uh, katana, katana, katana. Again, I I forget how you're supposed to pronounce these. Uh oh, and then is this a is this scimitar? How, is that how you say that? I I remember we had this in connection scimitar a long time ago, <laughs> and I had no idea what the word was. Never heard of that word before in my life. I learned it from connections. So, turns out, you do learn things by playing these games. It does pay off. You do pick up on, you know, new, I guess, terms that you've never heard of before. So now I know. It's cool. I, that is one of the things that I love about playing these games every day, is that uh, I actually learn things. I actually have more information now in my brain than I did before I started playing and that's fantastic. I love it. Um, that is why I play these games every day. That, I mean, apart from it, them just being interesting puzzles and challenges and it, fun games to play. And, and I love making these videos every day. Um, I also play because like it's a, it's a way to learn. It's a way to pick up on things that I didn't know before. So, uh, well, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video today. It, I'm not my favorite games today, but, um, but it, it, I did fine. I did fantastic in Wordle. Uh, connections was okay. 
but not great. I didn't like the final category. The mini, I just got lucky and guessed. And then on this one, I did not understand the S words clue. I mean, I get it, it's swords, but it was kind of confusing to say S words. And I don't think maybe, you know, like how many of them started with an S? The scimitar one was the only one, right? So yeah, not, not great. Um, they could have just said a cutting edge theme and that would have been good enough. But I guess uh, they needed to, I don't know, I guess they needed to specifically tell you it's only swords, not just cutting edge things, it has to be swords. Um, but yeah, they could have put swords as the spangram instead of blades. I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, anyway, I'm not gonna try to tell them what to do. It was fine. It is what it is. I got it. I understood. I understood. I figured it out. We solved it. Actually, I didn't have to use a hint today, which is great. So, anyway, I'm gonna get going, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to support the channel, uh, go to Patreon to get access to some extra content. That would really help out a lot. And uh, with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take care.